get a jump on spring by making some of these unbreakable stemless wine glasses for your patio. I'm really anxious for spring to get here, so I thought today I would prepare by taking these uh, stemless wine glasses, I like that they're plastic so they're unbreakable, and make a patio set of stemless wine glasses that have uh, some sea glass coloring on them. And I'm going to use four different colors of sea glass paint by Martha Stewart, and this is it right here, um, and some electrical tape to mark out the design on them and the four different colors will be easy not to mix your glasses up on the patio when you're sitting there and I'm really excited to get started with this and can't wait to be able to use them again once it gets warm enough all right so here we go for the first step I want to take my electrical tape and tear off a fairly large piece I just want enough that I can take it around the glass diagonally. All right, and I'm going to start about halfway up on the glass, right about here. And I'm going to bring the electrical tape down at an angle so we kind of have an arc pattern. And I want to bring it down so that it's smooth as we come down. And it ends at the side of the glass, so we're not going all the way around. And again, on this side, just want to bring it around in this arch pattern. Okay, there we go. And just make sure it's sealed all the way around. Actually, is a little bit angled here for me. I want that transition to be just a little bit smoother there. All right. And I'm not worried about this being a little bit wrinkled on this side. I just want to be sure that it's nice and tight around where we're going to be placing the paint here. So once that is done, I'm just going to take some of my sea glass paint. And put a little bit of it there. And I'm just going to take a pouncer. A little, I think I picked these up at Walmart or Dollar Tree somewhere. Just little inexpensive pouncers. They come in a set. And I'm just going to pick up some of my sea glass paint. And you just want to pounce it on. Um, sea glass has a very um, variegated effect. You don't want any brush marks in it. Um, you just want it to kind of look rough and tumbled. So this is definitely one technique you don't want to use a brush on. You can, absolutely, but you'll get a little bit different look. You just want to go around, be sure you have a good even coating around there, and then just set it and let it dry. Now, these uh, Martha Stewart sea glass paints, you can cure them in the oven. However, being on this being on a plastic glass, I don't want to do that. I need to let it set for it's about three to four weeks. Um, I'm not seeing exactly on here the directions for the, the curing process, but it is an indoor-outdoor paint. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, you can hand wash these. So just go ahead with all four of your glasses and go around the, with the electric tape, and it'll look like this. It won't be perfect. It can go on the outside of the tape a little bit. Let those dry. Decide if you want to add another coat of paint or not. It's completely up to you. And I'll be back as soon as these are dry, and we'll see how they come out when we remove the tape. Here we are with the finished uh, frosted sea glass 
stemless wine glasses and I'm just going to come through and pull off the tape. Oops. I'm going to try to do this without hurting the... There we go. As I can pull that off, you can see it has kind of a nice frosted glass finish. And like I said, this does self-cure. Um, it can be hand-washed after about three weeks. So now is a perfect time of year to go ahead and make these. They'll be ready for spring. Okay, there's the blue. Okay, here is the lilac. I think it's called Sweet Pea. I'll go ahead and put the description and the link to the paints below, as well as some acrylic and glass stemless wine glasses for you. All right, and there is the green. There you go. I really like the way those turned out. Those are really cute. Um, I will say, in order to make a set that I would reuse on a regular basis. I would not use these glasses from Party City. They are very flimsy. I would buy a nicer quality acrylic. So um, there is that to keep in mind. Uh, if you want to do it just really quick, these literally took me about 10-15 minutes to make. So if you just wanted to do it quick for a party and it wasn't anything you were going to be saving for a long time, then this absolutely would be the way to go. If you want to keep them and reuse them for over the summer or a longer period of time, I would invest in a little bit better glass. But there you go. Quick, easy, and very, very cute the way they turned out. All right, I'll be back soon with another video. You guys have a great day. If you like the videos and the crafts I'm making, be sure you like, share, and subscribe. Every little bit helps. If you have anything to say, please comment below. Hit that notification button if you'd like to know every time something new comes out. And I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.